and what to do for this. Now, basically, ladies and gentlemen, we've talked about simplifying. We've talked about dividing, multiplying, adding, and subtracting, right? Um, we've also talked about solving. So if you guys look at this, this is what we call, this is a, we're doing division again. But we have, now we have an ex a rational expression divided by another rational expression, okay? So this is a little bit different than everything else we've done. Yeah, we're dividing, but we're not dividing um, like expressions. Now we're dividing like two expressions, right? That need to be added. So the best way that I like to do this is again, get rid of your fractions, okay? So the best way to get rid of the fractions, guys, is you can see there's one, two, three denominators, right? And that you guys can see there's, here's the big division problem, right? In each of these, what is my, I have a denominator of 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1, and x. Again, kind of like solving, we want to get rid of fractions right now, okay? So what I'm going to do to get rid of them, I'm going to determine the LCD. Does anybody want to give me the LCD for this? x times 2x plus 1. Does everybody agree with that? Okay. Well, you don't want to, we don't have to distribute yet. So now, what you're going to do to eliminate the fractions to help you simplify this problem, you're going to multiply every term by the LCD. So you guys see how I have three terms here? Remember, terms are separated by addition or subtraction. There's only one term in this denominator. There's two terms up here. Now, we apply your division property. The x's divide out. The 2x plus 1's divide out. The 2x plus 1's divide out. So now, by simplifying this, I now have in my numerator 2x plus 1 plus um, x divided by x times 4x is 4x squared. You guys see that? See what I did? What happened? Anybody have any questions with this so far? We still can simplify it. But now, I can, I can simplify up here, right? So I can say this becomes 3x plus 1 divided by 4x squared. OK? <coughs> What x go? 2x plus x it becomes 3x and then plus 1. So simplify complex fractions. I'll do another one before next class period just to remind.